the way that they made oh, the way that they made me feel. No. Well, yeah, no. The how way did, they the way they tasted. How did they make you feel? They made me feel good. All right. Then. Welcome back to another Schooner and Hop beer review. We're sitting here with a a seasonal beer. Yeah. It's made by the Black Hops Brewery in Burley. We discovered this brewery whilst kind of gathering information for this channel. Yeah. Uh, I managed to try their goat beer from a place called Hellbound in New Farm. Really enjoyed that. It blew me away. And ever since then, I've been watching closely to what they do. They released this limited edition Black New England IPA. And when I read that it was New England, yeah. Look, I you, had to get some. You put New England and then IPA on anything and, and he's right there. I'm, so. I'm in. So Hence, put them together. We yeah. got this Woo. quick. Yeah. So we could do this. And look, it's conveniently lined with the episode that we are dubbing yep. the season finale. Season finale. So this is where all the explosions happen. You don't know who survives. And you've got to wait six months for the next one. <laughs> six months? Jeez. <laughs> no. Or like a week. Or just a week. Just yeah. a week. Probably just a week, I think. Not even a week, but like no difference. No. Thursday afternoon. Yep. We know you're there. Yeah. Well, we're there. So by the end of this episode, three beers will remain and they will follow yep. through to season two. That's it. Uh, the rest is Thanos away. Yeah. But anyway. Wounds. Wounds. Let's deep, crack deep this wounds, open. Me. Yep. And we'll crack. give it a gaze. Yeah. Oh, shit. She smells pretty strong. So, look. <laughs> uh, I can smell again. That's also a point I should make. My cold is mostly gone. Yes. <laughs> when I bought these, I couldn't help. I couldn't wait until yeah. doing this. So I've already had one. Yeah, if you follow us on social, you saw uh, Hop was apologizing to me on there that he had one. Uh, I... would I planned on having one before now, but I uh, just didn't get the chance. So I'm going in blind. Uh, Hop knows what he's about with this one, so... Yeah, give it a go. Yeah, we'll see, eh? But let's just hear yours first. Oh, shite. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is... That's as bitter as you told me it would be. You can taste all 6% of that. So one thing I read about what a New England IPA is, it's basically an aggressively hopped uh, IPA, which is very obvious. This feels aggressive. It does. It attacks <laughs> it, your taste it, it buds. It tastes aggressive, that's for sure. All Alrighty. <laughs> so to kind of break it down, you met with this initial, it's quite a clean flavor for such a bitter beer. That it does, it, it's it got your nice fruity, sweet flavor, and then it just, you can feel it just build up, and then it's just like, hello, hops Pure everywhere, hops. and the bitterness to yeah, follow. Clean, it's almost overpoweringly hoppy. Any further, I'm not sure if I would enjoy it. I'm sure... I'll eventually be enjoying stuff way hoppier than this. Yeah, probably. But for right the now, this is going. almost, almost at almost the peak bitterness that I would uh, not enjoy it anymore. Yep. But you definitely you get that kind of initial quintessential New England flavor at the yeah, start. Yeah, and that's, that's what that's I there. really like. It kind of lends its hand out and be like, enjoy. <laughs> Come on in. And just... And I'll slap you. Hop whack. Slap you as I pull you in. Yeah, uh, but then the other thing that I really enjoy is this aftertaste. You're not left with this uh, bitter feeling in your mouth. It doesn't linger, and that's good. I would say for myself, it's maybe a little bit more bitter than I would like. It's maybe a little bit too bitter. If it was a little bit less and just had that awesome hop flavor, which, yeah, let's say awesome hop flavor, the bitterness is the hops. I get that. Yeah. If it just had a little bit less bitterness, I think I'd be a lot more into it than I am. Uh, I'm not not into it. It's going to wear thin, I think. The bitterness at the end, I think by the end of a full can, is just going to be too I'll be much. like, yep, that's enough for me. I'm good now. Yeah. You see, when I had the... When I couldn't really help myself, all I could think about <laughs> Poor is... Poor self-control. I really just wanted to crack the rest of them open and be like, oh, I could get another four pack. But I knew I couldn't. Where I bought these from, they only had uh, three cans left. Three can oh. oh. So that wasn't an option. That's why... Corey's... He's sitting here and he said before we did this that he hopes I don't like it so that he gets my taster. <laughs> and look, at this stage, I'd probably give it to you. I'm cool with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, 
I, I felt. I mean, I, was, I felt a slight terror there, where you're like, "I'm upset that you're not enjoying it as much as I am," but then I'm also happy because, that you're not, because that means that your <laughs> lack of enjoyment <laughs> yep. means my surplus of enjoyment, and that's it. That's what it should be about. So, Corey, we'll start with yours because I feel like yours is easier to explain. It is far easier. Well, mine's very easy to explain, that, but anyway, it, yeah, words aren't too difficult now. It really was a toss-up between the XPA or this. For the moment, XPA is doing it for me more, being that it's far more tropical. Yeah. I'm not, still a tropical that I guy. <laughs> I st- I'm really enjoying dabbling into IPAs, and I'm still definitely discovering what I really enjoy out of them. Yeah. I really enjoy this. It is That's, bloody this is what, sensational. This is what Hop really enjoys out of them. Cool. So, yeah, so mine is, is clearly not... Clearly not as high. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. So yeah, we were, we were just no. My only point is to premise your point Ooh. is that the only reason it is below Brick Lane is because we just ran into them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and I just want to impress them. Uh, no, that's not the reason. They actually called us out on our uh, <laughs> on my coppery aftertaste comment. <laughs> I was just being honest. Uh, never thought I'd meet them. The, it's not below uh, Brick Lane because we just met the guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> if if I was basing it off of interactions, I would have put Black Ops up the top because they shared the photo. That that's true. They did we'll share our yeah. photo. So um, if I was like that, it would and be look up at the top. The, look at that. I only gave him seconds. Yeah, what a dick. Ah, uh, yeah, it wasn't my photo, so that's why it doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, no, it means a lot. Sorry, Black Ops guys. <laughs> Is the big thing for me? Yeah, right now. Obviously, um, coming from your nice clean lagers and yeah. obviously now enjoying your lighter fruitier stuff yeah so like uh, I really enjoy fruity flavors in beers now um, the aftertaste of this like I said before the bitterness uh, is just a little bit too much for me and whereas yeah I didn't I didn't really enjoy the aftertaste in the brick lane but because it was more of like a lager flavor I know I, like I can I'm used to that I can expect it it's yeah. it's fine um, I'm not used to drinking something so heavily bitter and then going back to it and continuing to enjoy it. The bitterness just for me just piles on and on and on. And then by the last sip you have it, you're like, all right, okay, that's enough. I need something. I need something crisp. Fair enough. Yeah. That's look that. That's some good points. And sure is. (laughs) It's definitely (laughs) clear on this beer where we stand as far as our flavors go. Yeah. Which is cool. Cause We've definitely both progressed our flavors over the course of the season. We have. We've grown. Character we've development. Grown, that's what yeah. you call that. So I guess... Uh, St- flavor arcs. Flavor but, arcs. <laughs> like, uh, I know I definitely have spoken highly of more beers than what I led to... Uh, led to? Say on the show? No. Outside of the show, I've yes. spoken more highly of certain beers... Yes. That I didn't necessarily rank up top. Yeah. I, I've mentioned to a lot of people that the Fig Jam IPA is incredible. Yeah. And that I've really wanted to revisit the Bishop's Best. Though we're both two beers that... They blew me away at the first sip and I, was, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Where I rank them isn't a reflection of how I feel about them now. Yeah. So in hindsight, the Fig Jam IPA would probably be sitting right now above the Goose Island. Oh, yeah. That's actually pretty high. Yeah. So it would be in your top three. Sorry, Billy. It would be in my top fr- fr- three. Three? Three, three. three. But top three. It would be my top three. <laughs> yeah. Bishops, I'm not sure if I really would have ranked it anywhere else, but I definitely have come back to trying it again. Still really enjoyed it. Yep. And I feel like it just deserved that second mention. I don't know, what are you feeling for, about some of yours? So, so I put put down three three points. Uh, one that I felt too high is too high. One that I felt is too low, and one that I'd like to try again. So, uh, I'm just mentioning. I'm mentioning two of the beers that uh, Hop here just mentioned. So the bishops for me, I've put it up a bit higher than I probably would again. The fig jam, sorry, is is something I was going to put higher. That's the one I think is too low. So that definitely goes above it. Uh, I'm talking about. I've kind of discovered that. It's really a sessionable quality is what I like in my beers. If I feel like I can have a few of them and still be enjoying them, then they would go higher for me. So 
The bishops, I don't feel like, is as sessionable as it's other bishops. Definitely bits, not as But it's a dark lager. Beer. They're not made to be sessionable. Yeah, they're meant, they're to, made be, to, meant to be thick and full flavored. Yeah. With fruit. What was it? Fruit cake. Fruit cake. Fruit cake flavor. <laughs> bishops would probably be a bit lower. Um, somewhere around the brick lane, I think. Uh, then, yeah, the fig jam. I would think the fig jam probably be beneath the uh, bolter, the XPA. So that'd be what fifth, fourth, fourth. Sorry, be fourth. Terrible counting. And uh, then something I'd like to try again is the atomic, because we we just discussed this. We feel since we did that whole uh, drawing portraits of one another thing, we yeah we, we weren't really focusing on the beer no as much as we uh, have been on these later. I guess videos. we more or less we weren't sure on what this channel was. Yeah, we growing. Pains. We weren't even confident in ourselves to be able to talk about beer. For an entire episode, so That's we kind of distracted ourselves. Yep. We definitely didn't give it the attention it deserves. No. Your taste has changed, so you're yeah. not going to think as so it's, low of it anymore. Yeah, so I, I would just wonder if I was to try it again, uh, where, where it might end. Because it's currently at the bottom of the list, and I don't feel it deserves to be there. Bee's Knees deserves to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Furphy deserves to be there. Oh. We might not even make it to a season two if he keeps talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, quit telling furfies. Uh, God, I, I really wanted to end this episode just then by telling you to F off and leave. <laughs> I was just about to do that. <laughs> but I can't get... There's a wall on this side, There's so I'd have to walk in front of the camera. Exit wouldn't be that great. But yeah. Alrighty. Thanks for joining us for the first season, guys. First season. We'll have a bit of a bit of a different look. Uh, maybe Corey's going to... Uh, sorry, maybe Hop is going to dye his hair. Or shave his beard. Who knows? Cliffhangers. <laughs> no, I know. You all know. It's not going to happen. Jake, you don't grow a beard like that and then shave it off. Maybe I'll have a beard in five years. If you're lucky. Yeah. So yeah, season one, Schooner and Hop. It's been awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to try some more beers. Dang. Ding. Good shit. I guess there's one thing left to do.